good afternoon thank you so much for taking our time and joining us for another conversation here in msme accelerate the msmes are now going back to the world where we were used to meeting people in the offline world the conferences have started we have more and more events that are happening around and we see the whole networking being done at a very different level in the industry today we have lot of uh, global companies coming to india the whole change around the global supply chain is are uh, currently very evident and as we can see a lot of global companies are showing more and more interest in uh, using indian uh, suppliers to ensure that they have uninterrupted supply of goods that they are producing globally now in this uh, context we need to see how an indian msme owner or an one particular entrepreneur is currently ready to face this challenge to face this new world and how he can leverage how he or she can uh, leverage the technology to have a better first impression also what can be the ways for them to remain connected with these people and create an impression that would last much longer and give confidence to the uh, people traveling across the globe to india that they would remain connected and we have all the understanding of the technology that is required for us to do a regular business with all of them to discuss these kind of little varied topics but very important from a customer relationship perspective and more importantly from a new customer acquisition perspective i have a old friend of mine who is coming on over here uh, who is somebody who has been into the industry for a very long period of time has seen the whole uh, technology industry evolving has been a major contributor to that and has been uh, revolutionizing the way people are connecting with each other now it's an absolute privilege for me to introduce santosh to all of you santosh thank you so much for taking our time and joining us for this conversation today so the pleasure is all mine chandra thank you for inviting me to this amazing platform uh good afternoon good morning and good evening guys uh, it's really a pleasure to share uh, a, a few uh, of my experience and knowledge with all of you before we get into the topic santosh i would like to i would like you to share your journey till date yeah so i have around 25 plus years of uh, experience uh, in the field of marketing and sales uh, specifically uh, uh, in the field of uh, uh, offline marketing that is uh, it hardware and mobile accessories and india i've been working with organizations uh, like uh, skull candy uh, neopack uh, to name a few prior to the pandemic people uh, were meeting in person and the only way of, of exchanging contact details was a printed visiting card uh, i if i am not wrong the first people to initiate uh something green uh, was the tata group they had the pdf cards which uh, they had taken as a pie project uh, to save paper uh, and it was a success among uh, the organization and their vendors and customers uh people definitely appreciated but the only drawback was pdf uh, could not be edited and when the pandemic happened uh, everybody was on this platform like zoom and people wanted to connect with each other they were exchanging contact details uh, i was searching for an opportunity and i came across uh, this amazing tool which really helps you network so if you see uh, if i have to share my contact details uh, let's say on this platform right now it's my zoom virtual background so if you see uh, there is a qr code just scan the qr code you will have all my details uh, on your mobile so uh, it made it easy so the product that uh, really excited me to uh, engage and to network so when the pandemic began and after the pandemic everybody uh, is in a hurry the attention span has dropped down uh, to a few seconds and if you want to engage with your audience and share maximum uh, details with them so this is one tool which will help uh, you a lot uh, one of the thing uh, i believe that what is the uh, the first step is just about sharing that information and sharing your card but we when we talk about building an impression it also reads basically we said that the success actually lies in follow up side right? 
So how it can uh, basically facilitate the communication after that? Yeah. So see, uh, now we are living in an era of AI chatbots. So yes. lot of things are there. Automation is there. So if if you uh, look at uh, the products that we have, we engage audiences not just at the initial handshake level where we exchange our business cards digitally. but also we have uh, tools where uh, automation happens uh, when the person responds to our uh, pitches our products so uh, if i am engaging with you uh, let's say you scan my card uh, qr code and you have my contact details and if you click on all the buttons if you go through so i can engage you on facebook instagram linkedin Whichever platform you are comfortable, I'm there. I'm present over there, so you can connect with me in all these platforms. And also, uh, I've done small automation whereby if you click on a response form, uh, I'll engage with you on email also. Other than WhatsApp, so everything is automated. So uh, instead of discussing this, would it be possible for uh, you to actually demonstrate this? So I think. This whole engagement thing needs to be shared. I think that will make a better impression. Absolutely, absolutely. So, if there is any audience member who's there, uh, who can scan the QR code, if anybody wants to scan the QR code which is there at the virtual background, so if anybody scans the QR code, uh, they will see. They can send me a WhatsApp message instantly. Yes. Uh, Message from Selvin uh, Augustin. So I got one message from uh, Selvin uh, Augustin Jagannathan. Um, uh, so and I have uh, got a message from you also, Charu. Yeah. Uh, so there are a few people who are connected with me on WhatsApp. So if you see, uh, uh, if you see the uh, what you say, my card. You can engage with me on WhatsApp. You can engage with me on Facebook. Instagram and LinkedIn. Uh, and if you scroll to the bottom of the card, there is a, a form, a Google form. If you fill up that form, I can engage with you on uh, what you say, uh, even on email. Yes, everything is auto. So this is one part of. Uh, so Santosh, we just looked at one part of currently reaching out and engaging with you on this particular part in terms of reach. And okay, we shared this in the. Uh, And so people can see this. Okay, I would also like to share a link on chat. Yeah, Santosh Virita has a very important question. Okay, so she wants to understand there are so many tech tools that are available. It can be overwhelming to choose the right ones. Okay, so what are your favorite tech tools for crafting a positive impression, and why do you like? I I have an amazing story. I uh, actually met a CEO who refused to share. uh his number because uh, because he was not on whatsapp okay and i am not on how will you share uh, your card to a person who does not have whatsapp he was carrying the latest phone okay so the usb of my tool is you can even send uh, this number uh, this card on uh, sms so i shared my uh, digital card on sms with the person and he was so amazed so uh, his thought process is that he does not use whatsapp because there is too much of distraction so how will i engage with him so i shared my uh, digital card uh, on whatsapp uh, sorry on sms and he could see my entire profile Uh, everything and then he could engage with me on linkedin so you all on linkedin uh, we connected and that's how i got uh, a few uh, good connections through him i have uh, clients not just in india as in sri lanka and in malaysia one amazing story that i again would like to share is a uh, woman uh, from the tribal community in versai you know there is a tribal community and uh, so i was yes our project i had shared my uh, and had given them free cards around six cards to uh, people who were creating handicrafts 
and these people uh, got the opportunity to travel to Dubai, and they were the only people who were engaging with uh, the global community on digital platform. They were sharing their digital cards. Uh, no, uh, they were not having any printed catalogs. Nothing. Everything digital. They had a QR code. Uh, they were sharing the uh, to the global community on WhatsApp, on uh, SMS, everything digital. Lot of people appreciated, and through them, I also got a uh, lot of uh, reference. Because though we say uh, people are uh, technologically advanced abroad. But we we are the real users, actual users and implementers of technology in the real world. Fair point. So, Vinita, just to build on uh, your platform, particularly on uh, choosing at the right uh, part and right technology. So, let me also take some time from Santosh and share a couple of uh, my examples on how I am seeing and the reason for me to bring in uh, Santosh on the, for this particular conversation. So currently, if you look at uh, purely from a technology perspective or from solution perspective, practically you would at least have around uh, 50 odd companies who would uh, be somewhere around offering a very similar set of tools when you look at just tool per se. Okay? Now these tools are ranged from a very variety of things, where it starts from just creation of a, a e-card, creation of an e-catalog, creation of a, a QR code, creation of an engagement uh, platform, using WhatsApp for various options in business, using it for, say, a certain set of tools that you can use very effectively for managing the communication with uh, different uh, people. Is there a way of managing this communication? Taking this data into a list and then bringing them into an uh, emailing pack, also getting them somewhere into tooling tools like say, MailChimp from a, a mailing or the communication perspective. And some of them eventually will be coming into your CRM from a, a closure or the deal perspective. So the entire set of solutions, if you look at it, is basically spread amongst all of them. So when you are picking up one particular tool, what the criteria that you can actually use is to identify what is your current requirement. Right? Like Santosh, the story that Santosh was explaining here, when there was a team which was going in there, a tribal, talking about sustainability, taking their tribal products to the park, and also taking a digital card, right? So that becomes a beautiful combination of sustainability in technology world as well as in the real world. So how you want to position, how you want to work will basically help you determine what is the right thing. Solutions are available across all of them. Meanwhile, uh, Santosh, just for you, there is uh, somebody from Dombuli also who has got connected. He scanned your card and realized that you are in Dombuli and he also happens to be in Dombuli. Wow. But there are three more follow-up questions. Sir. So Pratik wants to understand, with the rise of virtual meetings and online platforms, what specific technology consideration do we need to keep in mind to optimize our first impression during the online interactions? So if you see uh, uh, on my virtual background now, globally people have started putting QR code on their virtual background. So yes. having a QR code on your virtual background is uh, one of the best, uh, what do you say, I would say uh, process uh, have your logo, brand logo. If you have a brand logo like the one that I have placed, uh, your name, your uh, website address, and your QR code. So if you follow this, uh, uh, it, it gives an amazing uh, impact, uh, first impression on your global clients. Important point. Joey, she wants to understand uh, how how can technology, how can individuals with limited resources or technology expertise can still harness the power of this technology and uh, enhance their personal brand and professional opportunities. Yeah, so if you see, uh, it always makes sense to have your own website. I strongly endorse having a website of our own. Uh, but when we are starting up, when we are bootstrapped uh, and we want to have uh, a digital presence, so a digital card is one like a mini website, which has everything included in it. So if you see all the elements of, uh, uh, of a website is there in a digital card. If you are planning to go in for a website, I would first recommend you to have a, a, a digital card. Reason is 
you will see the responses coming on certain elements of your digital guide which will give you an idea to focus more on those elements which is giving you maximum response and work on those when you're creating your website those elements i have a lot of clients who have first made digital cards they have seen that they are getting more response on the e-commerce side or they have seen more response getting on their videos they have seen more response uh, different elements so whichever is their strong suit strong points they have started working on that they have created their websites on focusing on those elements and the response has been amazing for them great so shantanu has a question that how can individuals effectively leverage social media and digital platforms to amplify their personal brand yeah so uh, that's what i'm saying if you look at uh, it becomes too overwhelming when you put four links or five links uh, in a text message uh, in a whatsapp uh, chat uh, where you are putting uh, your uh, facebook instagram linkedin and all these uh, links instead of that you just put one link or one pure code the one link could be your digital card link or the one pure code that's it and when people uh, now uh, there are uh, some people who only put instagram link they have instagram stories now i have a person a very dear friend of mine by the name of mr bala he shares instagram reels of uh, useful management tips but i am not on uh, instagram on my mobile phone it's there on my laptop so those links are of no use to me but if in case of that he puts a, a digital card link i can always go to uh, linkedin and see those stories which he has put on uh, linkedin i can see stories which he has put on facebook i can go and check uh, stories which he has put on instagram depending on whichever uh, platform i am comfortable sure shantanu just to build on what uh, santosh is saying here right now i think it is uh, very important for you to identify how uh, where your audience stands okay i think one of the thing the the tip that santosh is currently saying is the background of this particular part is that if you know that you are particularly if you are targeting an audience which is far younger today right more on the instagram side then that is what it works but you should actually create a platform where somebody who is not very consumer is not there but still needs your uh, part can also access it on the platform like uh, linkedin or something so you need to identify from your business perspective which is the where your audience is and then you should leverage on that particular platform and you can use it okay the next question is from uh, nisha here santosh uh, she wants to understand as technology continues to evolve what emerging trends do you foresee in shaping the future of digital impression management so uh, ai uh, is something which is very 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 exciting for me i am seeing that automation uh when you engage a audience the main thought process of engaging with somebody is to get them into your funnel and if you are able to automate your funnel uh whatever products or services that you provide we everybody provides a product or a service that's what we are into uh so if you are able to uh, get those audience into the funnel the automation is the future and uh, expert in that is charu so i am always blessed and happy that i am connected with charu that he always speaks so i am always getting lot of insights and uh, knowledge uh, and new uh, concepts i get to learn from him so i'm grateful to charu for that wow kind of you my friend but there is, this is all about you and all about something these and some very very interesting questions are coming out right rashi yeah. has a question in what ways can the tone and language of online communication impact the impression it creates i'm sorry i didn't get you okay, rashi wants to understand in what ways can the tone and language of online communication impact the impression it creates so see uh, you have to be always lively and smiling okay and uh, the most important thing is uh, how professionally you present yourself and how unique and different you are okay 
if uh, you want to create an impression you have to have something unique and uh, i'm seeing so many youngsters who are coming into this uh, industry the professional industry and they are creating amazing impressions uh, with the audience that they are trying to connect so it's it's been uh, it's been like uh, i get to learn a lot i get to learn a lot from youngsters really uh, impressive sure uh just bring it back to the msme context and the professional part of your uh, rashi particularly if you are a youngster trying to reach out to the msme crowd which is little in say towards my age of 40 or uh, the wrong side of 40s right so we are the people who would be far more uh, about the more systematic uh, method or messaging or the tone compared to the youngsters like you who would we go with that sorry to you but the bro code and this kind of right i'm not good with that language but they are far more open to open languages and the language of smiles uh, compared to old timers like us who would be more towards a formal english communication that's the little bit of a difference that you would see uh, santosh the next question is important for you and you need to spend some time on this so mira is asking how does use of multimedia such as video infographics or interactive content is uh, will contribute to making lasting impression on them yeah so this this is a new trend which i'm uh, uh, observing see uh, uh, if you are able to engage your audience uh, recently uh, very very recently like uh, just last week uh, uh, the current uh, largest uh, political organization launched their video okay uh and that video is so amazing so engaging inspiring uh and also sharing information of the work that they have done uh in their tenure now how do they communicate this to people okay so i was uh, having a con- uh, conversation with uh the uh, one of the person who is going to contest uh, an election over here so uh i shared him the option of putting the same video on the digital card of all the uh, karyakartas who will be going in the field and they will exchange their digital card which will have the video embedded so if you look at my card uh, if you scan the card or if you click on the link there is videos which are talking about my product my services and everything similarly uh, i happen to meet one of the largest international hotel chains which has properties in more than 18 countries last week only they are moving on to the digital platform and uh, they wanted to create a first impression so that national sales and marketing head he was in conversation with me and we created a, a card where basic identity of the employees are there and the brand video is there which talks about the policy uh, process everything it was it, it was very uh, i would say uh, i i got some amazing response from them and uh, they are uh, in the trial process right now uh, see uh, acceptance of a technology new technology or change uh, from a printed card to a digital card uh, still people are uh, in person they are struggling okay so this is one uh, thing which people uh, are taking time to uh, accept but once they start using it they start falling in love and then the world is uh, for them to play mira i would also like to add one more point here to what santosh is saying particularly when it comes to the businesses what i have seen is that not everybody is very good at articulating the things from sales perspective Okay, people are very good at what they do, but when it comes to creating that particular sales pitch or creating that so-called elevator pitch or the the thirty-second, not everybody is uh, articulate to present the things in the right way. They are probably very good at what they do, but they cannot be able to articulate it that every point in time. So for all these kind of people, creating these kind of uh, uh, videos or offering some kind of interactive content would be a very good starting point. So I think it basically is a kind of uh, maybe uh, if i dare use a word kind it kind of creates a level playing field between people who are very good at what they do and people who are very good at communicating right so sometimes you would say say people on the other side 
Charu, yeah. I just want to add something more. Yes. Uh, attention span of the current uh, generation uh, or the world over uh, has dropped down to a very minimalistic level. And if we get to have that screen space on the mobile phone, because everybody is on their mobile now, uh, thanks to the pandemic. So if we are able to have that screen space, even for five seconds or ten seconds, uh, that that's that's where we get the audience captured. Great. So Anand is taking us back to the fundamentals. So Anand Sharma wants to understand uh, what ethical considerations should individuals or businesses keep in mind when they are crafting their digital presence to ensure authenticity and transparency. Yeah, so uh, there is one trend which uh, I am observing is that people uh, want it the easier way. So they uh, are using uh, tools like NFCs, NFC cards. Okay, uh, this is something which is very easy to use, but also uh, having drawbacks. So that I would not recommend. Uh, other than that, you can definitely uh, see a engagement should be interactive so if we are able to engage with an audience where i'm sharing my card uh, or my product or my services or my information i should also have similar uh, data with me of the person with whom i am interacting so create tools or have tools which is engaging and interactive <laughs> Anand, just to build on what Santosh is saying, what I think is, uh, what comes across the best when you are, we want to create a lasting first impression is basically being uh, being very authentic, right? How you can be authentic is completely up to you. Particularly when it comes to just the communication part of it, I think these are the tools that we are talking about that would help. But when you go and meet somebody, your ability to be authentic, to be owning whatever that you are saying or to sustain is something that you need to do. Secondly, what I have also observed and that's something uh, that's very being used on multiple platforms is your ability to get certain success stories, getting yourself backed up by customer testimonials and putting all of that thing as a part of your digital presence is a huge way for you to build credibility. Okay? If you just want to just work with somebody and get uh, some favor, symptoms or some communication, huh? usually in first couple of rounds when the client double clicks, they realize that all you don't really are not there what they are talking about, right? So it's very important for you to bring in that authenticity and you can use platforms like uh, this for you to get those customer testimonials and work. Also, you can use, uh, if you go and offer some short-term service, you can use a very similar set of platforms to get feedback and all for you to build that uh, authenticity. The next question here, Santush, is uh, from Desmond. Uh, the question is, sometimes technology can be tricky to navigate. Can you share some easy-to-follow guidelines for using social media and online platforms to create a uh, professional image. Yeah, so uh, I have seen uh, DPs uh, display pictures of people uh, uh, in their beach address uh, on their LinkedIn profile. Okay, so th that's not something that I would uh, suggest to youngsters. Please have a professional photograph of yours on your digital uh, display uh, picture on platforms like LinkedIn, uh, on even platforms uh, like Facebook page or Instagram page, which you're using for professional purposes. Uh, for uh, your uh, personal thing, yes, you can have any kind of images, but please stick to these things. Uh, it it's always makes sense to have a Professional photographs, that's when people start looking at you seriously. Dress appropriately uh, and take pictures. And share relevant content. What makes sense? Speci uh, speak what you are specialist uh, or what you specialize in all about. And be passionate about it. So I, uh, I always... Uh, Sound, uh, when I am uh, speaking to the audience, they always get the impression that I'm talking more of my digital tools, digital tools. But that's what I'm passionate about. So I start promoting it very passionately because I know 
there are a lot of avenues it's just the tip of the iceberg so when people get engaged with me i speak a lot about the tools that i promote uh, but it's also information sharing that's what i do i uh, just want uh, building up on sadesh's part the lines between uh, facebook linkedin and instagram are really blurry okay so sometimes you never know what gets what is the right thing to be posted on uh, instagram what has to go on uh, facebook and uh, linkedin so things are just getting little bit here and there and i can totally understand if that is leading to a lot of confusion here but you can build up on what santosh is uh, saying here probably uh, making separate pages for your personal and professional part keeping the professional brand that you want to build aside and building it up gradually from there being very relevant and the most important thing i always believe is being authentic i think if you are not authentic you would not be able to build a lasting brand you may be able to create certain things maybe get couple of engagements here and there but that uh, won't last so being authentic is the huge part advait uh, the question about building the personalized uh, email subject to enhance the pipe uh, that makes huge impression i think this is all about uh, creating that particular uh, relevant uh, thing if you are able to identify what particular uh, customer is looking for what their background is what their industry is and if that's a particular thing case that you are already aware and you know why you want to specifically engage with them then building that customized uh, subject gives them that idea that you understand exactly what they are uh, why you want to reach out to them and that works well however that typically works only in uh, the early part or a very one to one communication particularly when you want to reach out to a larger audience then the platform like what santosh was saying right now when you reach out to multiple people create a proper database send them a, a link let some particular feedback come from them and then you can go and respond based on that particular feedback those are the conversations that basically get far more acceleration uh, compared to just the standard uh, bulk emails absolutely so jenny has a uh, uh, another follow up on this what role does content creation and distribution play in utilizing technology for personal brand content creation see the world is consuming content like anything earlier it was uh, uh, the world had limited resources to uh, content but now everybody with a smartphone can create content and uh, if you really learn the tips and tricks of content creation uh, using uh, whether it is chat gpt or even your own uh, experiences what you have uh, or the niche that you have that you want to share with the world the world is waiting to consume the world is waiting to consume so consumers content has gone like 100 times post the pandemic and whatever you create the that just go for it don't uh, be afraid to start creating start creating that's what i tell uh, all the youngsters that i meet uh, just don't be start creating there there are small 6 uh, year old uh, youtubers who are making billions of rupees right now so <laughs> you don't need to wait just start creating okay. so building up on santosh's idea of just start creating so that's if you are looking at a very mass market and reaching out to them uh, building that particular part is very important you can start creating and then keep on refining as the time goes looking at what your audience is sometimes it may be very difficult to even come up with the right idea of this is exactly the audience that i am targeting and for that particular audience this exactly is the content that will go you it takes some time for that whole calibration to happen so so the message from santosh is just do it and then we'll basically figure out how it uh, goes from there उट इ and you think that santosh was just sharing some time back in terms of sharing some important management lessons small tips 30 second uh, 59 second tips for you to share as all things that can just get consumed on the way even creating that kind of content can make a, a huge difference for you to build your brand 
gradually, but that has to be a consistent, a planned way of creating that particular content to eventually take your audience to where you want to take them. So that gradual process is very important and that calendarization is very critical for you to uh, take the things to that level. The last question here, uh, Santosh, is uh, this is from Gayatri Nair. She wants to understand what specific tech tools or platforms do you recommend for building and promoting a personal brand? I strongly recommend LinkedIn. I'm a fan of it. I strongly recommend uh, LinkedIn. Uh, start working uh, with a goal uh, where you fix a goal where you want to have the number of connections that you want to engage with and keep on contributing content uh, on your LinkedIn uh, page. Valuable, meaningful content. That's important. Relevant to your specialization. And if you can do that consistently uh, for, uh, let's say, three to six months, uh, I don't uh, see any stopping uh, of you building a brand of your own self, a personal brand, definitely. Sure. And if you need a specific tool that can actually work on, one is obviously the uh, LinkedIn as a platform is probably the best one when it comes to building a professional brand in this world. And if you want to create some content, then a lot of good applications which are available, something like uh, Canva or you can use the Google uh, Slides and all for you to contain, create some very basic content, create images for you, have proper, have a proper content put in a structured way for you to do. You can actually create a theme around how you, how you are going to build your content over a period of time and use that theme consistently for a very long period of time so that people who see your posts see that consistency throughout. So that's one way of particular. So Canva or Google Slides, or there are multiple slide creation tools that you can use. Particularly if you're more into the video part of it, then uh, uh, I personally use InShot a lot. But there are other platforms uh, which you can use to edit videos and uh, build those particular videos and see what you, you are going to do. Audio and all, also there are different parts. You may also currently explore the idea of looking at uh, building some podcast or creating some audio content offering that particular content on platforms like Spotify and all for people to consume. So various things that are there. The idea would uh, be to time the whole thing. Okay, Timing in terms of at what point in time you are going to create your post, uh, what point in time they need to go, what should be the duration of that particular post, sure. does it need to be a single image or a personal multiple set of image, do they need to be case studies, do they need to be PDF and all these things, to be very honest with you, you all over a period of time. So I don't really, at least I have not seen somebody who would say, bas ye kablo aur ho the only thing that you can actually do is what Santosh is saying. Yehi samay hai, sahi samay hai, shurwa kije and build it up from there. I think you would be able to calibrate the things as things go, but it's very important for you to make a big So I uh, also would recommend uh, create content later in the evenings when you're free, fresh. Uh, there is less amount of disturbance. Uh, creative flow. I don't know. My, for me, it has always been late evenings or early mornings. Uh, that's when I create content and I share with the world uh, during the day and I get good response based on this. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Santosh, so much for your time and this amazing interactions. I believe we have already got uh, a good number of questions that we are able to answer. If there is anything more that you can always reach out to uh, Santosh, you just need to send this QR code and I am out there in this platform, the community as well. We'll be very happy to take specific questions around use of this particular technology from an MSME perspective in the platform and anything that you need on the integrations or on this particular part, Santosh, you just scan it. Thank yeah. you so much, Santosh. I, I really want to thank you, Charudat, and the Thinkly team for inviting me and this amazing audience. Thanks a lot. Uh, it's been... Uh, Good having a conversation with you all. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Adrian.